Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today is a weekday and I'm in the mood to make something really quick that does not require a lot of effort. So today I'm going to be making meatloaf. My family loves meatloaf night. I like to serve this with mashed potatoes. So if you're interested and you want to see how I make this easy meatloaf, check this out. This meatloaf is very easy to make. I love making this on a weekday. It's moist, it's juicy, and it's delicious. My family loves it. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna use two pounds of ground beef. This is an 80-20, but you can also use a 90-10. We have half of a diced onion that I finely chopped, two eggs, three tablespoons of ketchup, in here we have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, we have one teaspoon of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're also going to be using one tablespoon of dried parsley. This here is three quarters of a cup of Breadcrumbs, this is regular breadcrumbs. You can use Italian if you'd like. This is ha one third, excuse me, one third of a cup of milk. For our ketchup glaze, we're gonna use three quarters of a cup of ketchup, two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're also gonna be using one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, I recommend using white vinegar, but I only had apple cider vinegar. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid mixer, so my stand mixer, to mix all of this. It makes the process a lot easier, but you can definitely mix this up with your hands or forks or whatever your preferred method is. But let me tell you, it's so easy when you put it in your mixer. So give it a try. Okay, to my mixer bowl, I'm going to add the ground beef, the onion, the two eggs, ketchup, all of the spices, the garlic powder, onion powder, salt, paprika, black pepper, and the Italian seasoning. I'm also going to throw in the breadcrumbs. Here goes our milk, the parsley, and we're going to mix this up with the paddle attachment. Here we go. And we're probably going to do this for about a minute until everything is mixed in well. You don't want to over mix it. Okay. So this is done. I'm going to go ahead and lift this out. I'm just going to clean this paddle attachment. Take all of our meatloaf mixture off of it. And then we're going to check to make sure that all of this incorporated well. Okay, so your meatloaf mixture should look something like this. This is mixed in well, and this is ready to be poured into our bread pan. This is a nine by five bread pan, and I'm spraying it down with some, um, some oil or some baking spray. I've added some parchment paper because it's gonna make it very easy to lift our meatloaf out of here. That way we can separate it from the fat. So in goes our meatloaf mixture. And I'm gonna pat this down with my hands to level it out. It's gonna make it look nicer. Um, also, when it bakes, there won't be any lumps, but it also ensures that it cooks evenly. So go ahead and spread it out. I'm using my hands because it's easy to feel where the bumps are. Okay, so we're going to stick this in the oven at 375. The oven has been preheated. 375 for 40 minutes, okay? Then we're going to pull this out and we're going to top it with our glaze and stick it back in there. So for now, we're going to go 40 minutes at 375. 
While our meatloaf cooks, I'm gonna get started on our ketchup glaze. And we have our ketchup, brown sugar, onion powder, we have the garlic powder, the black pepper and salt, and the vinegar. And we're just gonna mix this up. Give it a good mix until everything is nicely incorporated. And then we're just going to set this to the side and wait for the meatloaf to come out of the oven. Okay, our meatloaf has been in the oven for 40 minutes and I'm going to pour the glaze on top of it. Spread it out over the entire top of the meatloaf. And once you get it nicely spread out, we're gonna pop it back into the oven, 375 for an additional 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, it's done. We're gonna let this rest for a good 15 minutes. That way it doesn't break apart when you slice it. Okay, so then after the 15 minutes, this is ready to be moved out. Go ahead and lift it up with the sides of the parchment paper, drain it well, and I'm gonna move this on into a serving plate. So just slide out your parchment paper. This is why I like to use that parchment paper because you can see all the fat left in that pan and now I don't have to worry about that. And here it is, you can slice it up now and you can serve it with whatever you like. I like to serve it with mashed potatoes and today I chose to serve it with some peas. It is all done and it is ready to eat. I'm gonna leave a link for how I made those mashed potatoes. So check the description box for the link. Okay guys, so that's how I make my meatloaf with mashed potatoes. You guys give this a try. If you guys like it, go ahead and uh, like my video. If you um, haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you don't have to miss any of my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because my family is hungry. See you later guys in my next video. Bye.